Hi folks, welcome back to Metabox Tutorials. In today's practice, we are going to find out how to show posts with specific criteria using Metabox and Bricks. Here, I did an archive page as an example. This page will display only the dishes which are on sale. To do it, we will create a promotional price field to choose which dish is on sale. Each dish is a post of a custom post type. In addition to the basic information of the dishes such as the name and the featured image, the dishes will include some other information such as original price and promotional price. The extra information will be saved in separated custom fields. So we need Metabox plugin to create them. This page is built in bricks. Let's see which tools we need for this tutorial. As I've mentioned before, we need Metabox Core plugin to create custom post types and custom fields easily. It's free and available on WordPress.org so you can install it directly. We also need some Metabox extensions to have advanced features. You can download them individually or just use Metabox AIO like I'm doing. Here are the extensions that we will use in this practice. First, MB Custom Post Types and Custom Taxonomies to create custom post types. Second, Metabox Builder to have a UI in the back end to create custom fields easily. Finally, MB Admin Column, but it's optional only. I will use this extension to display the custom field's value in the Admin Column. So you can easily see and clarify which dishes are on sale. Since we will build this page in Bricks, remember to activate the Bricks theme. Let's get started. As I said before, each dish is a post of a custom post type and the extra information of the post will be saved in separated custom fields so I will create a new post type for the dishes. Go to Metabox and create a new post type. Then, in the admin dashboard, you will see a cuisines menu here. Here are two fields I created as an example. The value stored in these two fields will be the condition to choose which dishes will be displayed. Let's create custom fields. In this practice, I use the MB admin column so I have the settings like this. Here, I tick the box to show this field as an admin column. Do likewise with the original price field. This will help you to clarify which post has a promotional price field or not, and the dishes on sale will be displayed in the archive page. For example, this post doesn't have promotional price field so this dish will not be displayed in the archive page. After creating all the fields, move to the settings tab, choose location as post type, and then select Cuisines to apply these fields to this post type. Now, you will see all the created custom fields when creating a new post in Cuisines. Let's create an archive page to display all the dishes which are on sale. and then, edit it with bricks. Firstly, add a heading element to display the page's title. Select Dynamic Data button, then choose the post title to get the page's title. Inside the container, add a div element to cover all of the post. Let's enable the query loop for this div, and go to setting the query. Choose Post and Cuisines here to get the data from posts of that post type. Since we just want to display only the dishes which are on sale, let's create a condition. Scroll down to the Meta Query section. Since we just want to display posts having promotional price only, which means that the promotional price fields of those posts must have value. So, based on the value of promotional price fields, we can clarify which dishes to display. Therefore, in the Meta key, fill in the ID of the promotion price field. Then in the Compare, choose Not Equal. So. All the posts having value in the promotional price fields will be chosen to display. That's all for the condition. You just need to set the condition like that, the rest is just to display the information you want for each post. 
first, for the featured image of the post, add an image element to get the image of the dishes which is the featured of the post. Then, choose the Select Dynamic Data button, and find the Featured Image option in the Post section. Then you'll see all the featured images of the dishes displayed like this. Next, to get the name of the dish which is the post title, add a heading element. And then choose Select Dynamic Data button, then find Post Title. After that, add a div element. For the price of the dish, instead of adding basic text, I'd like to use the rich text element to get information about the price. The basic text allows you to get the data from the field only. But, the rich text allows you to add the extra text along with the data. So, to display the original price, add a rich text element. This is the section of the custom fields created by Metabox for the cuisine's post type. Go to this section and find the wanted field. For the promotion price, do likewise. Now, you can see the promotion price displayed. For the description of the dish which is the post content, add a basic text and then connect it to the post content fields through the select dynamic data button. Now, all the information has been obtained. For styling, still in the page editor with bricks, you can style each element. You can also add some CSS class to style the element. It displays exactly as I want on the front end. That's the end of today's tutorial. If you want to try more, please watch other tutorials on this channel. Remember to like, share, and subscribe us for more tutorials. Bye.